been a lot going on with Tom McDonald, man. He just dropped a really, really dope song with Ben Shapiro. And a lot of people are mad, including Nicki Minaj. And now the woke media and a lot of other people are upset and having liberal meltdowns. Let's check out this video where we could see some clips of people spazzing and going crazy. Wow, world we live in. Bunch of wokies. Whole bunch of wokies. You guys don't know, I just dropped a brand new music video with Ben Shapiro. Yeah, Ben Shapiro is rapping in the video. It was on TMZ, they hate it. Nicki Minaj is tweeting about it, and it's got almost 3 million views in 24 hours. We need you. We are trying to pull off the biggest troll on the music industry ever. And the That's music crazy. industry is going to hate this. We're trying to get Ben his first number one rap song on the billboard charts and we need you guys if you're seeing this right now head to itunes head to amazon and download facts it's just me and ben and all of you guys so if you want to help us make hip-hop right, history right. and do a legendary troll on the music industry head to itunes head to amazon and download facts by tom mcdonald and ben shapiro this is going to go down in history as one of the greatest trolls ever to everybody out there who decides to help and be part of it me and ben appreciate the heck out of you guys head to itunes head to amazon download facts love y'all let's go yes the rap is terrible rap is 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 horrible okay he's already criticized rap before he criticized wap or wap as he says <laughs> don't be a wap <laughs> This is the whitest way to say WAP. And look who co-signed it. Self-sabotage Minaj. Okay, this is how you know Nicki Minaj's career is over. When you start going extra conservative, because you know that's the only place people will like you. Like, that's a, a comedian move right there. When rappers are doing it, that's bad. Because everybody likes rap. Obviously. Okay, so the video is the same talking points that he always makes. It's just... And a rap over a beat very badly. And it sucks because you're just like, ah, I shouldn't talk about this because the only re reason he did it so people would talk about it. But at the same time, it's like, who's not going to talk about one of the worst raps of all time? So people are so annoyed because like they make money off of criticizing black culture. Now he's making money off of imitating black culture and criticizing black culture. Man, that was, first of all, N Nikki was actually trying to go after Tom McDonald, not co-sign. All right, let's be clear that that was not what was happening. You definitely misjudged that. Also, why are you mad? Why are you mad? And why you got to go after their rap ability? Ben Shapiro is not a rapper, but he did amazing. Tom McDonald is a beast, right? Probably better than your favorite rapper. Who you like? Migos? I don't know what they saying. I'm going to be honest with you. Can't name one song. I'm lying. Versace. Exo. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if they got a song called Versace. That was just the first thing I could think of, right? And I wonder if I'm actually right. It just sounded like the most generic thing. It was going to be either that or Louis Vuitton. One of the two. Or Tom Ford. It was going to be something along those lines. I bet you I'm right. That'd be crazy if they actually got a song called us. They might have a song called us. The liberal meltdown because they're always mad and upset about something. Okay? And sometimes they're mad and upset about the silliest thing. Right. And this one right here is extremely silly. Okay. Because I'm not sure if you guys have heard, but Ben Shapiro and Tom McDonald have one of the number one songs in the country, if not the number one song in the country. Uh, as they made a song called Fact. Now, I'm going to play a snippet of the song, and I hope that I don't have to cut the snippet of the song out because of a copyright claim. Please don't copyright claim this video, Mr. Tom McDonald, in your team, because I would react to a lot more Tom McDonald videos uh, if I, I didn't get copyright claims for it. So Now, nah, you're you going to get a, a, what's his name, a shared claim, right? <laughs> It's going to be a claim. They're going to share it. You know, I'm just saying, I'm yeah, trying to promote the video, right? Get, uh, I'm trying uh, to get you some views. Okay. So I'm just saying, you know, hey, it might be your best interest not to copyright claim my video. Okay. For reacting in a positive way to your music video. Okay. I'm a fan. If you play enough, they're not going to copyright it to take it down. They're going to just take that money. Fan of your music. Just saying. I would appreciate it. A portion. Let me, let me stop saying a portion. 
right? Tom is actually one of the only a few musicians that actually allow um, reactors to react to it and do shared revenue. A lot of other musicians still blatantly block it, take all the revenue. So that's a blessing. If you don't give me copyright issues for trying to give you positive publicity and, you know, promoting your music. So with that being said, again, it's 2024. Okay. And in 2024 is already off to a pretty wild start. Okay. Because we live in a universe. We have Ben Shapiro having the number one rap song in the country and Crazy. Nicki Minaj congratulating him for it because Nicki Minaj, I believe, was number two. She released a diss track at um, Meg The Stallion Style. called Bigfoot. OK, and uh, that has been going viral and that has been eclipsed by uh, Tom McDonald's song with Ben Shapiro called Fact. And this is what Nicki Minaj had to say about it. Uh, and True. what she had to say is causing a whole lot of controversy because the woke revolutionaries don't like Nicki Minaj congratulating Ben Shapiro. So let's uh, read here. Nicki Minaj sent her regards to conservative commentator Ben Shapiro for his MAGA rap track <laughs> hitting number one on the U.S. iTunes start on Saturday. Yeah, so this is from the Daily Beast. And you already know that the Daily Beast has no idea what they're talking about because they're calling Ben Shapiro MAGA. Right. I'm not sure if I would Crazy. characterize Ben Shapiro as MAGA, but again, this is what, um, you know, the Daily Beast is, is writing here. Uh, Minaj tweeted, quote, I just listened to it, Ben Shapiro. Not bad. Congrats on number one. But it def sounds like Roman's revenge when the beat first came in. I don't know. With a fair amount of implied side. When the hell did she say that? I'm gonna... I did not see this part. Where is that tweet? I saw that part, the one that's highlighted right there. I'm not seeing the, I've never seen the tweet that he's reading. I'd eye as she compared the song similarities to her own 2010 hit. Now, here's the thing. Nicki Minaj is an interesting figure so when sorry. it comes to politics because she has had some run-ins with conservatives, positive and negative. Like, for example, uh, when she asked questions about the vaccine and the potential side effects of the vaccine. Listen, fam, <laughs> this video is for educational purposes. I don't know nothing about that. I am not co-signing anyone's statement about that. Um, listen, go to a doctor. That's, that's all. Uh, the mainstream doctor. liberal media got upset with her for questioning the vaccine and conservatives praised her for uh, questioning the vaccine. Like, for example, uh, you had Joy Reid. She was having a full-blown meltdown over Nicki Minaj questioning the vaccine. But the worst part of all this, honestly, is not even the personal attacks. The worst part is who is enjoying this so much. People like white nationalist, curious Victor Orban enthusiast and no friend of hip-hop or non-white people, period, Tuckums Carlson. Nicki Minaj endorsed this clip of his yesterday where he praises her for, quote, enraging the political class. And when people responded that she might not want to be associated with a white nationalist, she essentially gave wow. in to the right's favorite talking point that somehow celebrities are not allowed to agree with Republicans. She also tweeted, you know how many of us, how many U.S. presidents were white supremacists? Well, yes, yes, we do. A whole lot of them. But what people like Tuckums and the Ben Shapiro's and other right wing bomb throwers want is not Nicki Minaj to have free speech. Wow. What they want is a vehicle to drag as many of her fans into their anti-vax camp as they can. They need and crave authentic members of the culture, hip hop culture. Let's just be clear. They look. Were? Um, you, you remember Juvenile coming out with a whack ass remix to his hit song, Back That Thing Up? You, you don't remember? Telling people to come on, you just had a nerve to say, "Come on, bro." But yeah, the hip hop culture was used, all right. It was used, all right. <laughs> That's crazy. Didn't they come out with a song called "No Voting"? No, but I, I can't even say the word because it sounds too close to the other word. But fan. Yeah, the culture's being used, all right. It ain't, it ain't by who you saying. It's by a lot of woke liberals. Look down on that culture and hate that culture and would never, ever, ever support someone like Nicki Minaj other than to pull her onto their team. Even though uh, Joy Reid uh, was questioning the vaccine when 
uh, Trump was president because she didn't want to take the Trump vaccine, right? It's amazing how that works. The liberals did not like the vaccine when Trump was in office. And then when he left office, all of a sudden they loved the vaccine, right? Tells you everything you need to know about these people. But Nicki Minaj have also had some run-ins with conservatives, like, for example, a Ben Shapiro in the past. So again, Nicki Minaj has kind of been on both sides of the aisle, right? Uh, from a political perspective. She was. Okay, I mean, she's the same individual that uh, once rapped, I'm a Republican voting for Mitt Romney because you lazy B words are effing up the economy, <laughs> right? Which, you know, hey, I think there's some truth to those lyrics. I, I mean, specifically the second part, uh, you lazy B words are effing up the <laughs> economy, That's funny. okay? Uh, yeah, and that's why I vote Republican, okay? Because, um, yeah, I, 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 I want people to work, right? Um, and I think laziness is, a, is an issue in our country, okay? I think it's a big issue. I think it's a huge issue. So with that being said, Nicki Minaj did follow up with another people tweet about lazy. the situation. Apparently, one tweet was not enough for Minaj as she followed up minutes later with another bewildered emoji pepper response. Quote, what is really happening and who is that other man <laughs> rapping? Is this real life? Said, uh, Nikki, take notes. Nah. Okay. So, Ben Shapiro, uh, in this record here, yeah, this uh, is what I saw. was taking shots at Nicki Minaj. With that being said, uh, we got to talk about some of the outrage here from the uh, left, okay, as they took to the internet, TikTok, of course, to express uh, the outrage over Nicki Minaj, congratulating Ben Shapiro, who they claim is a white premises. Here we go. They ran a TikTok. Here we go. Uh, for having um, a, a, a rap song that has surpassed hers on the iTunes chart. And uh, you're going to hear some of the lyrics from Ben Shapiro if there's no copyright claim on this video. Take a look. Nicki Minaj supporting Ben Shapiro's first rap song has to be the worst thing I've ever seen for hip-hop culture. I'll just play a clip of Ben Shapiro supporters being All like, right. you're, you're just trying to act woke. You don't know what he was talking about. No, that verse was just terrible. And I'm talking about from bars to structure to cadence to flow. It was just oh, not good at all. No. And the fact that one of the best rappers of all time, one of the most prolific yeah, female tripping. artists of all time is backing. I don't tell two can see him shut his ass up. My bad. My bad. Oh, so my man looked like like a Pokemon trainer. Why is he here? Why is he here? That's all I'm saying. My bad. My bad. Looking like American Idol Justin. That's all. My, I didn't even. I didn't even. It looked like his hair come off with that hat. That's all I'm saying. My bad. Sit your ass down, Sideshow Bob. That's. I didn't even mean. I didn't even mean to even say that. That's crazy. Garfield is coming out in full effect. This is, is crazy, bro. Like, why are we even giving this peace of mind? Why are we even tolerating what is going on here? She also got dissed in the song. She's doing more against Megan. And now she's co-signing Ben Shapiro, who's this like white supremacist on the internet. He put out, a, I hate the fact that um, rap has been I hate that a rap has been hijacked by a bunch of white supremacists. They can just use it whenever they want. He put out some awful ass song. Please don't listen to it because it's so bad. And he responded to her laughing at the song that was the crappy song she put out about Meg Thee Stallion. And then she, this is her response to all of that. This man is a literal white supremacist. All he talks about is racist bullshit. All he spews is racism. Just because this person agreed with you, you're gonna, you're gonna make him, you're gonna give your base, not even your base, your fans access to him because he agreed with you because yeah. nobody else seems to be. Nobody's calling you, congratulating you mm -hmm. about that, the weak ass song you put out and your weak ass attitude. You're literally adding a white supremacist, Nikki. Such a fucking loser. 
Nicki Minaj congratulates known white supremacist Ben Shapiro for the number one song on iTunes. On top of that, wow. I have been getting a lot of comments of people asking, how has Ben a white supremacist? He's Jewish. While I thought half of you were joking, I realized that you are dead serious. Shapiro is infamous for using white supremacist rhetoric and white supremacist talking points. He insinuated that crime in the black community is black culture. That talking point to justify police brutality on black Americans. This man tweeted that Middle Easterners were not builders, but they were in fact another word that I can't say, but it starts with a B. Look it up. This man's current platform is going after DEI, insinuating that this program that we've had since the 60s is a ploy to discriminate and replace white Americans, a.k.a. Is the Great Replacement right? Theory, which is a conspiracy pushed by who? Also, why are we acting uh, shocked that there are different ethnic groups and minorities that are vessels for white supremacy? We have misogynistic women, homophobic LGBTQ people. I think y'all are pretending to be dense. I, I really do. Shut your simple ass. My bad. My bad. Oh, I'm sorry. I was talking to the TikTok guy. Um, talking to all the TikTokers, actually. How is they talking about? That sounded so wild, fam. They, they, these labels you just put, he well known. It's not well known. It's not well known. There's people spreading false information, but to say it's what, no, you, you out of pocket. Like, fam, all of this because a song came out? You know, chill feelings, bro. Right? Hey, now you trying to control who Nicki Minaj can speak to? That's insane. That's a whole different level. Right? And it don't seem like you guys were fans the way you're talking about her. Don't seem. My bad, loud motorcycle. I don't even know if the mic picked it up. It don't seem like you guys that are talking about Nicki Minaj in that way are genuine fans. Right? Not at all, especially the way that y'all are talking about her. So, yeah, no, nah, I'm not rolling with that. I think that's pretty nasty. Do not think that Ben Shapiro is a white supremacist, right? Even though these people are crying white supremacy, okay, he, he may be an Israel supremacy, right? <laughs> and that's a joke, okay? That is a joke, okay? I know there are some people that, you know, get upset about that, and they'll boohoo whine and cry. Oh, anti Semitism, you said that Ben Shapiro was the Israel supremacist? No, it's just a joke, right? It's, okay. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, but, he's, but Ben Shapiro is not a white supremacist. This video is for educational purposes, by the way. This video is for educational purposes. Hit that like button. I have no hate in this thing for any community. Right. And I actually love the fact that Ben Shapiro is, is trolling these people. Okay. Because um, <clears throat> obviously you don't have a life, right? If you're triggered by a rap song, which by the way, I thought was pretty good. I didn't think it was bad. You I know, agree. some people are saying that the lyrics were terrible. And I'm like, no, actually Ben Shapiro got some bars. Okay. I think he said that my money like Lizzo, my pockets are fat. And then he said, dog, it's a yarmulke. Homie, no cap. No cap. That I ain't was gonna hard. lie. That, that's some fire, right? That was Those hard. some bars, okay? That, that's some heat right there, okay? He said he makes racks off compound interest. Okay, I'm just saying. I, I think that Ben Shapiro, for his first rap, doing it for fun, uh, he, he had some, some decent bars there, right? Those bars are better than most rap lyrics that I hear nowadays. Which, by the way, you know, there are a lot of people that, you know, tried to you know, say that, well, this is hypocritical. It's hypocritical for conservatives to be endorsing Ben Shapiro rapping because conservatives often criticize rap. And I think that a lot of people are kind of confused in regards to the conservative backlash against rap. I don't think conservatives are backlashing against rap because, you know, rap doesn't sound good. And a lot of people may think that rap doesn't sound good. I'm not one of these people. I think personally, you know, listening to rap or the way that rap sounds is I like rap. I think rap is good. Um, just not all rap, right? A lot of the newer stuff is not really that good. There's a few people that's just decent in the new school, but yeah, I like the older stuff. More pleasant to me than most genres of music. But I think what conservatives have a problem with is the lyrics. And that's also what I have a problem with. You know, I, I do listen to rap when I go to the gym, but I don't listen to rap that has lyrics that are destructive. So for example, I tend not to listen nah, to rap where the lyrics it depends, man. Um, if I'm working out and I want to do a hard workout, I'm going to listen to some aggressive ass rap. That's facts. It's all about selling drugs, I ain't gonna listen to killing while. other black folks, uh, sex, you know, things that, in my opinion, are not good for the soul, right? Now, when I do listen to rap, the lyrics that I like to listen to are soul. lyrics that are motivational, that inspire me to get up and to work hard 
every single day to continue to grow and to become the best version of myself, right? That's the type of rap lyrics that I like to listen to. What motivates- I can't get mad at that. I do listen to the aggressive, like straight hood stuff, but I do notice that I like a lot of like the motivation and stuff. Like I've been listening to a lot of Russ, right? I've been listening to Russ since day one. When my A and R friends used to laugh at me for listening to Russ, and now he's extremely successful, and I think that they're now picking up packages at their A and R job, right? Like, like they 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 don't do nothing music related. <laughs> he they got him doing like assistant type of work, but you're supposed to be a A and R. But anyway, I digress. Right, so I listen to a lot of Russ, and Russ is extremely motivational. It was like Tom McDonald, um, Adam Calhoun, Up Church, right? Outside of hip hop, listen to more R and B. Makes me in, in the gym to go hard, okay? And um, that, to me personally, uh, is kind of what Ben Shapiro is doing there, in the sense that he's bragging about, you know, his wealth and how he has been successful. Okay, he's saying, "Look, he definitely was I got so much money. I make money off compound interest." Okay. Uh, which, you know, is something that people should strive for passive income. He's talking about how people blow money on strippers and cars and how they're going to jail on television, uh, even though nobody knows who they are. I mean, so he's saying, look, mm. you know, hey, blowing money on strippers and cars is not, you know, a good move, right? Financially, uh, you know, going to jail, probably not good as well either. So, you know, I don't have a problem with what Ben Shapiro is doing. And I actually really don't think that it's hypocritical because I think, again, a vast majority of the criticism from conservatives when it comes to rap is the lyrics themselves not necessarily how it sounds mm. now again some people don't like how it sounds they don't think it's real music and, and that's fine that's their opinion right but some people don't think that country is real music or you know and i thought it was dope anyone who talking that crap and maybe they just don't like it but it seems like a lot of people are just more so hating whatever people listen to okay people are allowed to have opinions on music so uh, yeah, with that being said, again, uh, Nicki Minaj's fans are not happy with um, uh, Nicki for essentially congratulating uh, Ben Shapiro and, and Tom McDonald, a.k.a. being a good sport, right? Uh, some of mm -hmm. Minaj's fans, collectively known as the Barbs, were unimpressed and criticized the rapper's comments towards Shapiro as tone deaf. They were quick to point out that the conservative yapper she uh, congratulated uh, regularly spews hateful speech about the people who make up much of her most dedicated fan base. One irritated user slammed Minaj as, Yapper? quote, a person whose career was carried by queer POC fans who identify with her work from the start embracing it. Fam, Tom don't hate nobody in the alphabet. Like, they're wilder, right? Like, the things that they're, like, labeling Tom McDonald as is disgusting. He's, he's not none of that, right? That's wow. A homophobic white supremacist oh. because... She can't stand her R word husband being called an R word. Okay, so yeah, I mean, it's just amazing how we live in such a polarized society politically where Nicki Minaj can't just congratulate somebody who has. Yeah, Nicki might need to separate herself from whatever audience is doing that because they're they not healthy for you. A they're song not. that is outperforming her song wow. and saying, like, in a friendly way, you know, congratulations, right? I can't believe that this song is, you know, out performing mine. Okay. I don't think that's an endorsement of Ben Shapiro or his viewpoint. She's just saying, hey, I can't believe this song is actually doing better than mine, right? I mean, it's it's silly. It really is. Uh Minaj's Shapiro comments trailed a treat tweet storm in which she publicly beefed with Megan the Stallion. The latter made an apparent dig at Minaj's husband, who was a registered sex offender in her song. Hits. Okay, so yeah. Um, but I haven't heard the song yet. I haven't heard either one. I'm going to be honest, which I've heard more people talk about the beef between those two than they did. So I wasn't really interested in Meg Stein and Nick Minaj. 24 is off to yes. a pretty interesting start where we have, really care. Um, you know, Nicki Minaj congratulating Ben Shapiro on having the number one rap song on iTunes, which is something that I would not have on my bingo card for 2024. We also had Nancy Pelosi essentially say that pro-Palestinian uh, protesters are uh, possibly Russian agents, right? Russian assets are being paid for by Russians. So she pulled a Russian collusion card on far-left extremists and called for the FBI to investigate them. 
Um, it seems like we may be on the verge of World War III uh, with Iran. Me? I mean, there's a lot of things happening in 2024. It's off to, um, you know, an so amazing gross. start, right? I'm being a little bit sarcastic, but I'm just saying, uh, yeah, this year is definitely going to be as insane as everybody uh, is expecting, especially wow. considering how it is an election year. So, hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and support. That's crazy. Man, that, that's insane. That's straight insane. Yeah. A lot of people are wilding out here in these streets. But I'm going to make it seem like you can't even have an opinion or congratulate somebody. Right? And mind you, it didn't really seem like she was congratulating them for real. But for them to try to have that much control and say all these nasty, foul things about Tom McDonald and spread those lies. Come on, bro. And, and I think Ben Shapiro, he really had a great moment with this. And for people to try to like tank that with just nastiness. It's pretty foul, if you ask me, but that's the way these Wokies operate. That's my opinion. Tell me what yours is down in the comment section. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Now, if you have some extra time, can you do me a favor? Check out my music. I rap, I sing, and I make beats. All of that should be linked in the description. Also, if you want to watch me live stream, you can check me out on BXB's Boy Live. That's another YouTube channel. It should be linked to my homepage. And you can check me out on Twitch and Rumble. I'm streaming on all these platforms, man. Trying to just get out there. Also, if you want to support me, you can sign up for my memberships on my channel, as well as my Patreon for as low as $1. You get exclusive access to a bunch of videos early before you even get it on YouTube, as well as videos that's not ever going to be on YouTube. Stuff that actually got me suspended and banned. It's, it's kind of my anti-cancel culture fun for BX Beast Boy. You know what I mean? And it also helps me get resources for certain video essays and things of that nature. Check that out if you're able to. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. And join my Discord if you are able to, man. The link should be somewhere within my description or somewhere on my channel. I would really love to see you there, man. That's where you get a chance to talk to me and the rest of my supporters, man. I appreciate you guys. Bang, gang, out.